this video demonstrates how to encrypt a cadence schematic design and spectre model files used for an ADS simulation. You can use dynamic link to bring a cadence schematic design to ADS. This dynamic link instance represents this cadence schematic design. And this dynamic link instance in the schematic design, it took a snapshot of the cadence netlist of the schematic design. To encrypt this cadence schematic design, we can encrypt this Netlist. Dynamic link has a menu item. Dynamic link instance, encrypt instance. This will encrypt the schematic design. For including the spectrum model files used. Uh, in this case, spectrum model file is under a different directory. So, oh well, need to manipulate a little bit. And I will merge this spectre model file with this schematic netlist before I do the encryption. So this is the model file. So under the workspace.do directory, I'm copying the spectrum model file to the workspace.do directory. Examples power amp schematic.net is the netest of the cadence schematic cell view. I'm editing this netlist file to include the spectrum model file. So in spectre language section I will add an spectre include statement to include the example power m schematic models that a CS file. Before I encrypt, I need to test it to make sure that I didn't make any mistake in editing. So disable this model file because I hopefully the models are included in the netlist already. Select this dynamic link instance, set instance freeze mode to true. Click on that instance and then push down. You can see freeze parameter is set to true. And the netlist file remains the same. Now select this gear icon to start ADS simulation. Simulation completed successfully. Now, uh, I can in select dynamic link instance and encrypt instance. It created an encrypted I 
instance uh, this encrypted instance has the same name except with underlined xdl extension and the symbol is a copy of the original symbol if you push down this underlined xdl component it has its own netis file and the freeze mode is always true for encrypted component so i deleted the encrypted instance but i can change the component name here underline adding underline xdl so that i don't need to reconnect and click simulate and it simulates successfully with this encrypted component i'm going to save this now i don't need cadence i can exit cadence and once i exited cadence i will also need to quit ads within certain time so i will quit ads and start ads standalone open the examples underline wrk workspace i will clean up this workspace a little bit i don't need the original uh, schematic design it's the original component and i also don't want to keep the original netlist file changing directory to the examples underline wrk ads workspace directory and under the .dl directory i don't need the original plain name list because i've already created an encrypted version with it and I also don't need the original model file because it's also included in the uh, encrypted library. And look at this uh, netlist for the uh, encrypted component. It only used the pong, ADS pong use lib statement to include one library. The library's name in the file system is the library name and then plus a dot library extension. Now I select file archive workspace to create an archive for this ADS workspace. The archive for ADS workspace has a that's 7 z ads extension uh, i'm moving these examples underline wrk.7z ads file to my linux home directory i mapped my linux home directory to my windows pc so i can move file the archive file from my Linux home directory to my PC. I want to put it under temp directory, paste it, 
and now uh, I want to start ADS on my Windows PC select file an archive to open an ADS 7z ADS file click finish and once the archive is successfully open it will open the ADS workspace I can test it by clicking the gear icon to start a simulation got an error says unable to access the library that's the encrypted library once you move an archive I mean from one machine to another some file pass will change and this instance update ads lib config file if you click that one it will update the library pass if uh, a component is encrypted uh, using this way in dynamic link so I'm trying to open file system to look for the ADS lib config file select right click and explore in file system and under data directory there's ads lib config file open it in an editor you see that uh, the library definition is a library name followed by full path to that library and the path was uh, pass I used on Linux side if I select this instance update ADS lib config it tells me that uh, the pass is changed from uh, the original pass to the one on my Windows PC and then I try to right click and explore in file system again open this ADS lib config file in editor again you see the path has been updated so that file tells ADS when it sees pang use lib a library name look up that the, that path in that ADS lib config file the dynamic link instance encrypt instance again this is the uh, is you can this way you can encrypt uh, and then once you move it to another machine use the update ADS lib before you use the, uh, an encrypted uh, dynamic link component thank you very much for watching